Hey guys, it's 601 Shadow, and we have got some new info about the Boongo Stray Dogs movie. And I just want to make this video kind of talking about the info, and it's just really hype. Um, I'll probably make a separate video about the first thing that you see here. Um, but to go into this article here on Anime News Network, I'll have the link to this article in the description of the video. But it says the official website for the Bungo Stray Dogs anime franchise revealed the title, visual, and teaser video on Monday for the upcoming anime film project in the franchise. The film titled Bungo Stray Dogs Dead Apple will open in Japan in early sp spring 2018. So it's very big because we know that we now have a title for the movie. It's called Dead Apple, and we have a we have a release basically like a release window in early spring of 2018 so we have a lot of time until the movie until the movie comes out in Japan but but if it comes if they do a localization like they've been doing for um if they put it into like American theaters like they did with movies such as the um Kota no Kabaneri um recap movies and then how they recently did Black Butler a couple weeks ago if they do the same thing for this movie then I would really like that personally, so I could watch it like as soon as possible. But I'm definitely gonna watch this movie as soon as it's a as soon as I'm able to, as soon as I'm able to find it. But um, definitely very good to know that it's in spring 2018, and and the fact that it's called Dead Apple, we can't really we don't really know what's gonna be um happening. I like based based on it being about like an apple, I'm kind of thinking like Steinbeck, but at the same time. It's probably not going to be Steinbeck, because um, if you watch the teaser video, which I'm going to make another video on going more in-depth about the video, um, it, there's nothing about the guild here, so it's, this probably takes place after the guild arc. Um, like, in between the, like in between the end of Season 2 and the main events of what's happening in the manga right now. I'm not going to get into that, because I know there's probably some anime-only people who are watching this video right now, but... Then it shows that um, the film lists the following four returning cast members. So you have um, the you have the um, voice actors for Atsushi, Dazai, Akutagawa, and Chuya. So we know we have the same people coming in for these voices, which is really nice. And it says here the catchphrase for the film on the film's website reads, "Wounds that won't disappear; those are superpowers." So I feel like that we're gonna get more of that, like. More of that, like Atsushi backstory with like the um with the um guy at the um orphanage, the headmaster at the orphanage, and then we're gonna have like a Kutagawa kind of a Kutagawa, and then Dazai with Otosaku. Not really much with Chuya there, but you never know if they're gonna bring in some like random um Chuya backstory. And remember that this movie, I believe, is supposed to be anime original, so people who have read the manga, um, and are caught up with the manga, this is not, this is probably not going to um, have. It's probably not going to have any correlation to what has happened in the manga after the, the second season. But I think it'll. I think they'll be able to fit it in with everything that's going on. So next up, we have a new. We have a new visual for the movie, which looks really cool because it. They kept the old. Um, they kept the city destroyed thing like the last visual had. However, now they have not just Dazai and Chuya, which kind of made, made us think it was a double. It was just going to be about double black, but now they have Atsushi and Akutagawa, both there, and it shows in the back with Dazai having the apple in his hand. So that's, so that's definitely going to be really interesting. Like I love what the hell they have the movie, but we don't know what it's going to be about, and that just brings like more. Um, that brings more speculation, which I really like. So I, I just really don't know what it's about. And all their clothes are in the visual. All their clothes are torn. It looks like they're standing on like some ice or something. And the only person whose clothes, like Atsushi and Akutagawa's clothes, are torn, but it looks like Dazai and Chuya's clothes look completely fine. So I'm not sure what that's supposed to symbolize. But moving on here, it says um, Takia. Igarashi is returning to direct the film at Bones, so we know that Bones is working on the film, so it's definitely going to be a good one, knowing that Bones does a lot of really good series, such as Bungo Stray Dogs, Boku no Hero Academia, etc. And um, Kafka Asagiri, the, um, the manga writer, 
the manga writer, he is um he's write he's helping to write for the movie and they're basically having the people return they're basically having the people who did the anime returning for this movie. So if you really liked how the anime was, then this movie is really going to be good. So um that's really it that we got for the movie. I'm really excited for this for this movie and coming out and this video is dropping on um Wednesday, so either Thursday or Friday, we we are gonna have a um we're gonna have our video breaking down the um breaking down the trailer that was released up here for the movie. So if you want, if you have any predictions of what the movie will be about or anything that I may have missed, like any other news that comes that have that may have come out about this movie, um, let me know down in the comments below because I really want to know as much as possible because it's going this is definitely going to be a great movie but that's going to be all for this video thank you all for watching remember to rate comment subscribe and share i'm really excited for this and i will see you all next time